president issues a bold proposal at the State of the Union. Yeah, he is calling on Congress to raise the minimum wage for millions of Americans. Allison Kosick has more on how much paychecks could go up if that plan becomes law. It was a surprising addition to the State of the Union address. President Obama revealing he wants to raise the federal minimum wage to $9 an hour, affecting 15 million Americans in the process. The current minimum wage sits at $7.25 an hour. An increase to $9 means workers would earn around $18,000 per year. But that would still be below the poverty level for a family of four. Currently, only 19 states pay above the federal level, which means almost 4 million workers earn at or below the poverty rate, and that figure doesn't include employees paid on a weekly basis, like maids and landscapers, who would also benefit from an increase. Advocates for a wage hike say it would mean more money in the bank for lower-income workers and would also boost consumer demand. The Federal Reserve of Chicago says a $1 jump in the rate would increase minimum wage workers' household spending by almost $3,000 a year. But critics say raising the minimum wage would actually cost jobs and would not help reduce poverty. Small businesses, which are already set to be hit with new regulations and health care requirements, would be the hardest hit. Regardless, the president will have a hard time getting this proposal past Congress. 2007 was the last time a bill of this nature was passed, and all attempts since have failed. I'm Allison Kosick in New York. Watching Fox 6 truly.